When I first started writing, stories seemed to come to me out of the blue. I would be walking along the street, which can be rather dangerous, especially when you're crossing the street, and I would just take out a notebook and start writing as fast as I could to get that story done. And when I started teaching, I didn't quite understand why everyone else didn't write stories like that. But I created a method called the energy method, which is not the same as free writing. And in the energy method, uh, you set a timer which brings energy to the surface and, and you focus on a topic but you start writing before you have any idea what you're going to be writing about. And this bypasses the censor because you're too busy writing and also tends to bring you in touch with a consciousness that is not your everyday consciousness, but it's almost a, like a process of standing aside from yourself and letting a deeper part of your mind come into play. I've used this method with students for years, uh, since the mid 80s, and um, I know it works. Uh, I had a very important experience soon after I started teaching when a man came to me with a finished manuscript. It was a 200 page novel, and he had worked on it for two years, and it was beautiful, very beautifully typed and bound and so on. And I started reading it and it was the whole novel I could see when I scanned it was, my girlfriend left me, blah, blah, blah. So I didn't understand then that somebody who'd worked on something for two years really had something he wanted to write, but he hadn't gotten in touch with his material. And what I find is when someone gets in touch with what really moves them, with what excites them, <clears throat> that the writing itself becomes transformed. And that's what happened with this man when he started working with me. I told him he would have to start from the beginning. And he said, okay. And we started doing these exercises. And he started at a certain point writing about an experience in his past that was very important for him. And this was his material. The writing was unrecognizable. The writing had transformed itself. And this is the point I like to bring people to, to the place where what they're saying is meaningful. I always believe that writing comes out of a deep need and it comes out of something that is incomplete in our lives. At least that's where it starts. So that this need to write, we're always trying to complete something. And it doesn't matter if we ever really find out what that something is, but we know when we hit a nerve in our writing and that nerve we want to keep on hitting, even in the revision process, which is certainly not an easy process, at least a lot of the time. But when you keep knowing that you're, you're working on something that moves you, that has meaning for you, and that's really all you should be working on. You shouldn't be writing anything that bores you. If it bores you, it's certainly going to bore other people. So it's very important to go with your energy. And it's such an overused word, but it really means to get to what moves you and write from that place, from that place where you can be moved. And I always tell people when they're revising that you know, as soon as you lose the energy, if you find you've lost the energy, stop. Save all your drafts so that you can go back and see where it is you went off course. 